This is a story of a woman's day-to-day -day worry. I discovered I had lupus in 1997. In terms of affecting my relationships, I think um, I was sick of the prime of my life, or at the time, what I consider the prime of my life. I, I was diagnosed, um, I started falling sick when I was about 16 and my eventual diagnosis was about 24. So for me it was such a peak time, I was at the university, I was in high school and university at the time I was sick. So in terms of that, during this very, uh, this time when you are at the peak, when you want to go out, when you want to have a fun time, I had some challenges in that space. And then you also just meet people, interact with people and begin to realize that, um, that people only like you when you are at your best. Work-wise at that time, I was working at KTN, so I was on television and there was, KTN was the only alternative to KBC at the time, so we were, Jimmy Garfield and I were like the young people on TV, really intense and, and lots of fun. I was also at the same time pursuing or had been offered a scholarship at Phoenix Fair, so which had just started this thing of having a performing arts scholarship, which was the first of its kind. So that was the space within which I was also battling with being unwell and going through this, this illness that had very little information out there. I have an amazing support system and I call them my warriors and, and my support system can actually be categorized into three groups. So these are my group of warriors. There's my family, there's my friends, and there's my doctors, people who had uh, medically taken care of me. And so my family was around me. When people, when the doctors then said, you need a kidney transplant, everyone went to get tested, including my brother at the time who was in high school. Um, so you later begin to hear these stories, which you don't hear until you're in that position, that there are people in this country who have kidney failure and whose family want to be paid to donate others or to offer to be a transplant, uh, to, to give their kidney, or just don't want to do it because they're scared and they don't know what the consequences are. That was never a question for my family. <laughs> when, when you understand um, the fact that something like lupus as an illness is very unique in that it attacks your own immune system. And even though there's treatments and protocols, you each individual reacts differently to the illness. And so the doctors have got to be people who were willing to go beyond medicine and have conversations with you. The thing that summarizes for me for my doctors is the team I'm currently um, dealing with who are based in India. And when I went in this last time for my transplant and I was in a very dark place, I was tired, I was having heart problems. Um, my body was very weak and I, and I kept telling him I don't think I can do this. I, I just feel I'm in a very dark place in my life. And the doctor told me, you know, the best thing about winter, Lona, is that spring is coming. I think the biggest hurdle that I did not quite realize was a hurdle until uh, very recently was the words people spoke about my condition. Because then what happened is I stopped making plans. I stopped dreaming. I stopped being the person who was like, oh, well, I want to have a family, I want to have kids. In what context do they fall with these challenges that, that I was going through? And, and that for me was the biggest hurdle. I think the one lesson that everyone, and not even just every Kenyan kind of girl needs to know is, whatever situation you're in right now, is the one you need to be in. It's teaching you something. And there are no accidents, there are no coincidences. But I think one of our biggest problems is we have been told about the way life needs to be and that if you're not attaining particular milestones at a particular time or this, you're failing or you're not there. I honestly believe every single situation you are in, every single thing that you are going through now is a lesson. And so the mantra that I stand by is God asks one request of his children do the best with what you have now today not tomorrow not yesterday but all you need to do is do the best with what you have now and that's the reason why I get up in the morning and that your best may change from day to day but as long as every day you commit to doing your best that's all God asks you My name is Lorna Irungu Masharia, and I am a Kenyan woman. What we need is a story of a woman.
Sunday today, glory is the story.